on AUD JPY daily time frame, price is currently sitting around a strong support and resistance zone in blue. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. If we zoom into M30, we can see that AUD JPY is now trading inside these two red trend lines, but our lower trend line is not valid yet. So we are waiting for a search swing to form around it to consider it objective and then enter on its break downward. Moreover, we have divergence on MACD, adding more confluence to our sell setup. But for now, as usual, AUD JPY would be overall bullish until our sell setup is activated. On AUD NZD daily time frame, price is currently rejecting a strong support and resistance zone in red, which also acts as a supply area as price made an aggressive movement down from it. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. If we zoom into H4, we can see that AUD NZD is currently trading inside the channel in blue, but it's not valid yet as we are waiting for a new swing to form around our lower a blue trend line for it to be objective and then we will enter on its break downwards. Meanwhile, AUD NZD would be overall bullish and can still test our upper uh, resistance zone again before going downward. On CHF JPY H4 time frame, price formed an objective trend line in blue and broke it upward objectively. By objectively, we mean above its last swing and it's now making higher highs and higher lows, so we are overall bullish. However, price is approaching a strong support and resistance zone in green. As you can see from a daily perspective, rejection from here, here turned into a resistance, and it's now acting as a resistance zone. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames as price approaches it. So let's zoom into M30 and look for potential sell opportunities. As usual, we have a uh, divergence forming on MACD and such as JPY, as mentioned, is making higher highs and higher lows. So we are overall bullish trading inside this red channel. So we are waiting for a new swing to form around it to consider it our last swing and then enter on its break downwards. Meanwhile, such as JPY is overall bullish and can still test our green resistance before going downward. On Eurosec daily time frame, price is currently sitting around a strong support and resistance zone in blue, so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames. Unless price breaks it downward aggressively, then we'll be looking for objective sell setups on its retest. If we zoom into H4 time frame, we can see that Eurosec is currently trading inside this objective channel in red, and here is our last swing. So we are waiting for a momentum candle close above our last swing to buy this one. Unless price forms a new swing around our uh, red trend line, then it would be our new last swing standing and will enter on its break upward. If we zoom into M30, we even have a, a, sh a short term opportunity. Price formed uh, an, an inverse head and shoulders pattern and we also have a diversion on MACD. So we are waiting for a momentum candle close above our neckline to buy Eurosec and uh, conservative traders have to wait for a new swing to form around our upper uh, red trend line to consider it objective and then enter on its break upwards. Meanwhile, Eurosec would be overall bearish. On EURUSD daily time frame, price is currently sitting around a strong support and resistance zone in green, so we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. Meanwhile, EURUSD is still overall bullish and can still test our upper resistance and even brown trend line before going downward. So let's zoom into M30 and look for potential sell opportunities. First of all, as usual, we check if we have a divergence. We do have one. Price is making higher highs, while MACD is making lower highs. So that's our second clue. But as usual, it's not enough to enter the trade yet. So our first clue uh, was resistance. Second clue, uh, divergence. Now we are waiting for us, our third clue and trigger to sell EURUSD. As you can see, EURUSD is trading inside this channel but it's not valid yet, so we are waiting for a search swing to form around it to consider it valid and objective and then enter on its break downward. Meanwhile, as mentioned before, EURUSD is still overall bullish. On USD NOC daily time frame, 
Price is approaching a strong demand area in red, so we'll be looking for objective buy setups on lower time frames, keeping in mind that price can still test our previous support area before going upward. So for now, let's zoom into lower time frames and look for potential buy setups as price approaches our lower demand area. From M30 perspective, price is currently trading inside this objective channel in orange, and we also have a divergence on MACD, but these two confluences are not uh, enough to buy yet. We are waiting for our trigger, which is, uh, as usual, a momentum candle close above our last wing that forms around our upper orange trend line to buy USD knock. Meanwhile, USD knock is overall bearish and can still test our uh, demand area as mentioned from daily before going upward. On Brent Oil daily time frame, price is retesting our previous gap and the resistance zone. So we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. If we zoom into H1, we can see that Brent Oil is currently trading inside this channel in orange, and we also have a divergence on an ACD. Price is making higher highs, but MACD is making lower highs. So meanwhile, we are overall bullish, but as mentioned, price is approaching a strong rejection area. So we'll be looking for sell opportunities. For now, we are waiting for a new swing to form around our lower orange trend line to consider it our last swing and enter on its break downward. Meanwhile, as mentioned, rent oil would be overall bullish. On Dow Jones daily time frame, price is approaching a strong support and resistance zone, so we'll be looking for objective sell setups on lower time frames. And if we zoom into H1, we can see that Dow Jones is currently trading inside this channel in uh, red, but it's not objective yet, so we are waiting for a third swing to form around our lower red trend line to consider it valid and then enter on its break downward. We also have a divergence falling on MACD and we more confluence to our sell setup. And as usual, Dow Jones would be overall bullish until the sell setup is activated.